Okay, so uh, this video is going to describe how to find the distance between two points using two different methods. The first method is using the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we use this, it, or we are able to use this because we can create a right triangle uh, from these two points that are given, the 4, 3, and the negative 2, 1. So the first thing I do is go ahead and draw out the legs to create that right triangle. Okay, and I use the, the units that are already here to find the length of each leg. So coming from this starting point, I count down one, two, three, four. So I have four for the, for the length of this leg. And then I count from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12 so I get 12 units there all right and now let's go ahead and substitute these values into the theorem so 4 squared plus 12 squared equals c squared square the values so that's 16 plus 144 and add the values and so that's going to be 160 equals c squared and then go ahead and find the square root of 160 and c squared giving us an approximation of 13 units Okay, so now it's your turn to try. Go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between these two points. So pause the video and then try it. Okay, so did you get C is about eight units? If so, you're doing great. If not, uh, recheck your steps and try again. Okay, the second method for finding the distance between two points is using the distance formula. And so what's the distance formula? Here is the distance formula. So it has a lot, it has more variables in it. It has x2, x minus x1, and then you square that result plus y2 should be minus y1 and square that result. So let me fix that. All right, so now the formula is correct. x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So the first thing I do when given these two points is label my x1s and x2s and make sure I have it on pen. There you go, have it on pen. So this is my x1 and my y1 because these are my first ordered pair and each ordered pair has an x value and a y value. This is my second ordered pair so I have an x2 and a y2. And so I go ahead and replace these values right into the formula. So I'm going to have x2 is negative 4 minus 7 squared plus 8 minus a negative 3 squared. And all of that is underneath this big square root sign which we will deal with at the very end, okay? Uh, you have to remember the rules of subtraction or understand what this means when we're subtracting. If we have negative four and we take away seven, it's just gonna become a bigger negative. Uh, or if you're thinking of a number line, it's going in the left direction, so that means it's becoming more negative. So this is negative 11. I wanna square that, okay? Eight minus a negative three, that's taking away a negative subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive so that also seems to be 11 8 plus 3 is 11 as well so we get 11 there and square it and now we go ahead and square it uh, square means negative 11 times negative 11 
which will give us a positive 121. And 11 times 11 is also positive 121. Uh, add th that result together, we get 242. And two, the square root of 242 is about 16. Okay, so the distance between these two points is about 16 units. And I can put units since we don't know feet, inches, squares, whatever. Okay, so your turn to try. Okay, so take these two points and find the distance between them using the distance formula. Go ahead and pause the video and then unpause it to check if you got the same, the right answer. Okay, you should have gotten that D is about 12 units. If you got that, you're on your way. Now you know how to use the distance formula and the Pythagorean theorem. So go back uh, and try some more problems. Redo your quiz if you have to, but good luck.